Hi, I'm Cheryl with the firm Public Relations and Marketing. Welcome to the virtual PR water cooler. Today, Achoo. we're going to... Bless you. Do you need a Kleenex? Yes, please. We're going to be talking about pod and video casting. But first, what exactly do Kleenex and podcasting have in common? Well, you can download our podcast to find out. In the meantime, should you add pod and video casting to your marketing mix? And what do you need to know? First and foremost, don't do it just to do it. Like any communication tool, really think about your goals, your audience, and the best way to communicate with them. Remember, these are Web 2.0 tools, but the same basic PR 101 rules apply. Now, pod and video casting, just like traditional blogging, allow you to get your message out almost instantaneously, and they really encourage audience interaction. But pod and video casting have an advantage over traditional blogging. They appeal to auditory and visual people. Not everyone wants to sit in front of a computer screen and read an entire article online. But if you make your content interesting enough, they may take the time to download a podcast and then they can listen to it at their convenience, maybe in the car while driving home from work or while working out at the gym. How do you know whether to do one over the other? Well, go ahead and try both and really take into consideration who's going to be doing it. You or your executive may have fantastic ideas, but they need to be comfortable in front of the camera. So if they equate doing a video cast with getting a root canal, well, perhaps a podcast or a traditional blog would better suit them. Also, take into consideration that it doesn't have to be a key executive. You probably have a lot of employees internally that not only have the expertise in the subject matter, but who also have the presence or great voice and secretly want to be a star. So here are our three tips when considering whether or not to pod or video cast. First, choose the right tool for your audience. Second, pick the best medium for your presenter. And third, don't take yourself too seriously. Relax and have fun. And with today's tools, downloading is easier than ever.